hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're driving on the highway 2000 north south lake this is one of the first modern highways to be built in jamaica so today we're going to talk about the history of these highways in jamaica now jamaica has some roads in the past that they used to call highways like Bustamante Highway, Northern Southern Coastal Highway but they don't look like this road with the dual carriageway and the concrete barricade as a government person said recently the Northern Coastal Highway is like parochial roads in some sections it's not a highway like what you see here but back in the day they used to call those roads highways now, under the P.J. Patterson administration, the IDB bank said that Jamaica should have modern highways, and they wanted the highways that could con highways that look like the one we're on now. This is what we call a modern highway. So they did a feasibility study to see if it was one possible two the cost and three the benefits to building these highways so that's where all of this started the idb bank not the ministry of transport and works the idb so they did their study and they realized that yes it could be built meaning the route could be found and it would be cost effective it would be very expensive but you could charge a toll and then the, that could be used to pay back for the road so they took it to the government who was the prime minister at the time was PJ Patterson and he loved the idea and he made building these modern highways a top priority of his administration so now that the government got involved the World Bank a lot of studies were done because you just don't wake up one day and build a highway like this and then it was said that you're going you would need a foreign investor to pay to build a highway and then they would collect the toll to pay back for the highway so because they wanted to get a foreign investor um, they had to use an international companies to put the project together so the consultants etc etc anyway the projects were put together and then they were put out to bid and this is highway 2000 we're talking about now and they went through a long process with people putting in bids to build the highway and it was narrowed down to four contractors and the four contractors all went to the government and said this is going to be they wanted to build a highway from Kingston to Montego Bay and a highway from Kingston to Ocho Rios. That would have been the first phase of the project. Or that would that would be the first modern highway network Jamaica would have. And when we say modern, we mean this kind of highway with the four lanes. A, a real highway, not just a road you call a highway, but this is what you would consider a real highway or a modern highway. So they wanted to build a road from Kingston to Montego Bay because they wanted to connect both international airports and they wanted to build a road from Kingston to Ocho Rios so that persons could get to the major tourist destinations and they said IDB said that would be economically feasible to have the highway run these routes so the contractor said it's going to be too expensive and to build this section of the highway that we're on from Kingston to Otreus, I think it was 800 million US. So this, this highway has been built. But the road from Kingston to Montego Bay would have cost even more. So they decided to build a highway in phases. So that is what is being done now. So Jamaica has a very modern highway system from Kingston to Otreus. This is the road we're on now. And then they have one that's going to run from Kingston to Montego Bay. Now Kingston to Maypen, because remember they're building it in phases, is Kingston to Maypen is built. 
May Penta Mandeville is under construction and will be ready next year. And then from Mandeville to, May Pe to Montego Bay will be built eventually. Now, this is Highway 2000. This is a toll road. A toll road. So, it was built by a French company, Bogues, and they were given a concession from the government. Okay, we have to separate the two. The, the South Coast Highway, the Highway 2000 East West Leg, is the highway from, it looks just like this, the highway from Kingston to Maypen. Now, that highway was built by the French company and they were given a concession of 35 years to build that, to collect toll, to pay back for the building of the highway. Now, they built the highway from King, the Bolt Company did a, built the highway from Kingston to Sandy Bay. And then they started construction of this highway, which is Kingston to Ocherios. But they ran into all sort of difficulties. And they said they couldn't do it. So that is how China Harbor Engineering Company came on the scene. Everybody probably thought thinks China Harbor Engineering Company built all these highways, but they didn't build the first phase of Highway 2000. That was a French company. So the China Harbor Engineering Company came in and said, we'll build a highway. Mark you, they were not one other bidders for the original highway project. So they came to the game late, but they came to the game and they said to the government, we will pay for the entire highway. We will pay the French company for the work they have done and we will finish the highway and you don't have to upfront any money. We will pay for the entire thing. So naturally the government said yes. And China Harbor Engineering Company paid the French company for the work they did on this leg of the highway. And they finished the highway. And they are the company that builds all the highways in Jamaica now. Every major road project is done by China Harbor Engineering Company. So this leg of the highway was finished. It's open, it's up and running. That's the Kingston to Ocho Rios leg. And everybody saw the benefit. Everybody saw that people would pay toll. And they saw the benefit to Jamaica, all the economic opportunities that opened up around these highways. And the Kingston to Maypen leg is open and Maypen to Mandeville is under construction but because of what they know is coming, the economic benefit to Mandeville, you have started to see it. Plazas are going up, apartment buildings are going up. And so this was the first modern highway built in Jamaica. And now there is a highway that runs from Kingston to Portland that's under construction that one is a southern coastal highway it's also being done by China Harbor Engineering Company and that road will look like this road however it will not be a toll road you don't have to pay toll to use it and then the government has announced that the northern coastal highway is going to be upgraded it's going to be four lanes it's going to look like this in some sections and that one also won't be a toll road, it's going to be free. Meaning persons don't have to pay to use it. And it's also going to be built by China Harbor Engineering Company. They're even going to have a runaway bay bypass that's going to look like this, and a Discovery Bay bypass, and a Priory bypass. So Jamaica really is moving forward in terms of its road network infrastructure. You're finding more of these modern looking highways coming going around the island. And the government actually has a plan to link the entire coast of Jamaica via a highway network. The Southern Coastal Highway will also run from... I will get into that in another video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And we're just giving you a brief history of how these highways started in Jamaica and what the plans are for the future. All right, guys, have a good day.